You all know what time it is. Salutations, you fine animals. I'm back with another grade A juicy video prepared for your eye holes today. Before I get in on this main course of the video, if you like what you see, consider subscribing and drop kicking that bell button. You know, WWE style. Now, let's get this furry visual novel started. Eyes are a thing. They exist in our non-animal heads to show us what's up. Mine are not that great. In fact, I would go as far as to call them subpar. My vision has always been a bit on the C tier side. The C stands for cancel half. It wasn't until I was a strapping young lad getting glasses at the age of eight that I realized that you could see the world in 4K. It was like replacing your Nintendo 64 with a brand spanking new 4060. I could see every dimple, sweaty brow, and greasy hairline in that vision center at the mall. The graphics were so so good, sometimes I wish I didn't have to wear them. That mall had some people in it. Flash forward to now, AI generated pizza commercials and endless TikToks to satiate my decaying mind. And my vision is still as bad as it's ever been without glasses. In fact, it's definitely worse. Some things get better with age, not my vision. It's like a fine wine that turned into a vinegar. The kind you blast on that Caesar salad at Olive Garden. When I'm not wearing glasses, I cannot see crap. I mean, I could if someone handed it to me right there and said, this is crap, and walked away, then I'd know. No good vision for me. You know when you go under the water at a pool and open your eyes and it's all blurry? It's like that. Only there's no one doing sick cannonballs from the diving board in my daily life. There's just mortgage payments doing a swan dive into my mailbox each month. The bank I have it through has a whistle, so if I start running out to the mailbox to get it, they're all like, <laughs> So you might be asking yourself, Content, and so far, my disappointment is immeasurable. When suiting up at cons, I can't really fit my glasses into my fursuit head. Funny enough, well, not actually funny, more sad than anything. I actually broke a pair of glasses when trying to put my head on before a stream. Rather than try and stop when it didn't fit, I just kept pulling my head down until my glasses cracked down the center. In my defense, it was a really good crack. Perfectly slashed through the center line. I think my calling should have been a sushi master because the precision they broke in was fit for tableside service with a side of wasabi and soy sauce. But since I'm not a sushi chef, really, look it up on my wiki fur. I was just a sad grown man with broken glasses and more regret than when my coworkers on base found out I use OWO unironically. After having gone to cons and becoming one with the furry lifestyle, I found out that a lot of people use contacts in suit. That would help. Whenever I suit, I've just given up on using glasses. That's right, if I've ever crossed paths with you at a con or bumped into you to be more accurate, I might have not even known. My vision is god awful. When suiting around, I've developed a system to help me out. I've started to recognize the color patterns of suits, body shapes, sizes, walking patterns, and voices to guide me. It's furry echolocation, my dudes. I can, with 20% accuracy, correctly identify people in the Hyatt lobby each December. The other 80%, we don't talk about. There's nothing more embarrassing than shouting out someone's name and as I get closer, realize that it's not who it is. I think there might be a PSA before each con where they hand out flyers that say, if you see this furry, do not engage. Just move along. He will get your name wrong. Just keep walking away. Also, don't feed him. I haven't found one of these yet, but if you do, hook me up. This furry conspiracy goes all the way to the top. But yeah, my vision is really bad without my glasses. Hopefully by sharing this with y'all, it'll help put my mind at ease. I also cannot read at all without them. I've had to do the awkward glance at someone's badge and slowly word out their name written on it. Nothing puts more fear in the pit of my stomach than when somebody comes up and says, remember me? And I have to frantically spell out the badge name in a matter of seconds. Like I'm doing some mental calculus. Bonus points if the badge is flipped over and all I'm left with is cardboard backing. Then I have to say something along the lines of, how's it going, you? 
Spiders come close to that level of fear, but this is what sits on my throne of fear. Yeah, all in all, not a great time, but I just kind of wanted to get this out to all of you to you know, kind of get you in the mindset of like what goes on on my day-to-day -day life in the fandom, not being able to see kind of sucks. I know like the easy fix is getting contacts, but it just hasn't gotten to that point yet. Like I, I keep forgetting or something else comes up. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving it a nice little thumbs up and you know, potentially hitting that bell button for future notifications. And of course, subscribing. I hope all of you have a great rest of your weekend and rest of your week for sure. And I'll see all of you on the next video. Holy smokes, oh my goodness, yeah! Wait, was I even facing the camera? Oh, now I can see. Oh my goodness, I'd like to give a huge thank you to the following Gold Egg patrons. Yorick Bernison, STL Moto Vlogs, Blueberry the Husky, Ashira Pony, Moodle, DH, Apollo Bunny, Dynamo, Emereth Cantonine, and Cinderkin. And a huge thank you to all my other patrons and supporters as well. If any of you want to consider becoming a patron, check me out on the link above. Oh my goodness, thank you.